Our lives converged over a mobile development user group. Microsoft reached out to me. I think I got elected president is like, here you go, sucker. <laughs> There's still a lot of pros for going cross-platform. There is a shared code base where you can share up to like 90% of your code, which also gives you the benefit of releasing future parity apps in both platforms. And if you're not gonna be doing anything that's CPU intensive, if you're gonna be doing what's essentially like forms development, then there's several cross-platform frameworks to choose from. So as far as features being available through a cross-platform um, system like Xamarin or React Native or Flutter, they're usually available when it's only in beta for Apple or Google. But as soon as that beta hits, within typically within a few hours, Xamarin's got a beta. Flutter, you can just drop right into the native. So cross-platform, at least .NET and uh, even React Native, they catch up pretty quick. It's a lot easier to maintain talent when you're doing cross-platforms. Maintaining talent that knows how to write in Kotlin, knows how to write in Swift, Swift UI, keeping the people who can do that type of work might be a little bit more challenging versus keeping and finding somebody who can do cross-platform. I'm Sean Sparkman, and I'm the president of DFWMobile.net. My name is Omero Lara. I'm a software architect at Zeal IT Consultants, but I also help manage DFWMobile.net we meet the third Wednesday of every month. Come by if you have a chance.